Hi. Hi. I'm drawing Han and I'm back. So today I'm going to share with you on public speaking. Main topic is actually reasons on why speakers get tongue-tied. So basically, this topic, public speaking, I'm going to share with you in various topics. I break them up into a free a few topics. So one of it is actually the very first one, reasons on tang tai. So I'm going to share with you on this topic and uh, the solution on the tang tai as well. <clears throat> so basically, over here, you will see that most people or a lot of people usually can't talk, right? Now, uh, reasons. Now, firstly, is that you got to remember public speaking requirements are what? The very first public speaking requirement is actually on language proficiency. You need to have very strong command of that particular language which you are using for that particular commentary. Without the language proficiency, of course, you can't speak at all. That's for sure. So that's why the command of language is very important. And secondly, because public speaking is also part of communication skills, you need to have listening, understanding, speaking, and writing skill as well. Other than that, of course, yeah, most important of all is the knowledge requirement. Yeah, knowledge requirement is very, very important because without any knowledge, you can't speak at all on that particular topic. So that's reason why you must have knowledge in that particular and you must do a lot of researches in order for you to be able to provide the commentary. Now, of course, there are people, you know, they have this language proficiency, very common of language. Yeah, they have very good knowledge as well. They plan well, they prepare everything. Yeah, but in the end, they can't speak. Why do some people just can't speak in the public? Yeah, of course, these people, they are known as the glossophobia category. What is glossophobia? Basically, Glossophobia, simple term meaning to say they belong to the tongue type problem. They have the tongue type problem. So why these people having this tongue type problem? The very first thing is that they are too sensitive of themselves. Yeah, very important Yeah, that uh, you cannot have this personal sensitivity. Of course, later I'm going to share with you how to solve this problem. Now, the first problem usually is when these people are speaking, they will see suddenly, you know, uh, one of the audience is uh, sleeping. You no, know? then they will become very sensitive. They will think, "Yeah, is it that my uh, commentary very boring, very dull? That's the reason why this person is sleeping away." So, think of, thinking of that this person gets stuck and can't speak ready, right? Now, second situation is where, you know, at times uh, while this person is uh, providing commentary, suddenly he or she saw some uh, a couple or whoever, you know, chit-chatting away, you see? So again, he's mentally would think, yeah, this person... Is it uh, talking about me, talking bad about me? You know, become uh, sensitive again. Right. The third one, this is even worse. You know, uh, when speaking, you know, suddenly saw this couple laughing. Ah, straight away, this person will think, you is it that this uh, couple laughing at me? Uh, saying that uh, my commentary very dull, uh, learn nothing at all, you know? So this, again, this caused the tongue type problem. Yeah. Second thing, why these people usually can't speak is because they don't have the, the skill or basically they think, uh, this is the common thing. Why should I speak? Uh, I know already, you also know, ma, so why should I speak? You see? I give you one example about Naslamam. 
Uh, so usually these people, uh, they, they talk about nasi lemak, they will just describe it this way. Oh, nasi lemak is a coconut rice, and then uh, it has anchovies, peanuts, pollocks, and sambal. Then they get stuck. They, they do not know how to elaborate more. Yeah? They get stuck just like that. Why they are like that? You know, these people usually I categorize them as the touch and go people. They just mention it and then they go away. They mention one item, they go away. You no, know? in actual fact, of course, in commentary, you can't do that. These people they keep on thinking that you already know, ma. Uh, I why 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 must I speak on that topic? Why must I elaborate more? So don't need to talk. That's the reason why they get tang time. Yeah. So basically, the main the main thing is that these people they are lack of the skill. Yeah. On commentary, they don't have the question on why, where, what, how, when, and who about the whole topic. Yeah. Now. Basically, what's the solution to that? Uh, first solution is actually when you are about to speak for the commentary. Very important is that you must smile. Now, why you got you have to smile? Look at Wayne Johnson over here. Yeah, before smiling look very serious, then suddenly smile looks so handsome, right? Now, reason is because when you smile automatically there will be some chemical produced in our brain, relax our brain so that we are able to speak more. You see? So that's why very important, keep on smiling. Very important. Yeah? That's the first thing. Second thing, uh, this one I learned from my dad. Yeah, uh, my dad, uh, he studies up to standard three only, but then he still can speak a little bit of English. Yeah? Uh, what he told me is that very important thing is that you learn anything or any language, you just press the pedal, petrol comes and the car will just move. Exactly just like us when we are providing commentary. You have to have the guts you know, just press the pedal and keep on speaking. So it will come very naturally. Now, for this uh, category of people where, you know, seeing people sleeping. Yeah? So this, as I mentioned earlier on, is personal sensitivity. It's actually, you, you see, you have to think of uh, sometimes these people, when they are really very tired, it could be that, he has, uh, he has uh, something to do up to 3 in the morning and then 6 o'clock, wake up, you know, has to attend to your uh, talk, your commentary. So that's why too tired and he's sleeping away. You have to think of that way. So you reduce your personal sensitivity, then you are able to speak on. Right. Second thing is that, you know about chatting. Uh, you have to think of that way that suddenly this couple, you know, thought of something important that this message very important must let the other party know suddenly you know so i'm sure you had that uh, experience before so that's the reason why very important yeah don't be very sensitive about yourself you know just let them talk and you continue your commentary yeah thirdly the last one you know the couple laughing yeah so what what can you uh, do about it Again, don't be so sensitive. You know, the, these people they might be daydreaming, you know, or talk, uh, sharing the experiences of some funny incidences. So they laugh. They are actually not laughing at you. You are around the one who is very sensitive. So please reduce of the sensitivity. And of course, in any commentary, you need to plan. You need to prepare and then you, neck, you need to perform. You're just like, I am speaking and speaking and speaking. You need to do that by practicing again and again, again and again. Then only your commentary will be perfect. Yeah, this is very, very important. Now, when you are speaking, the next very important thing is that you. what you need to do is actually think of the listeners your audience that their mind is blank yeah 
when you thought of that way, meaning to say the person has no knowledge at all on the topic that you are speaking on. Just like what Socrates quotes, as for me, all I know is I know nothing. So you have to think of the audience know nothing at all. You are sharing your knowledge to your audiences. That's how you can keep on talking on and on. Now, I'll give you one good example, which is very common among all, among in Malaysia, that is coffee. Now, if you just say, oh, there is this white coffee in Malaysia, then you get stuck. Actually, there are still many examples where you have to describe and elaborate on the coffee. The, there are so many. You see, it's just like, for example, we have the kopi kosong. Where's kopi kosong? You have to describe. Describe each and every of this coffee. We have kopi O, we have kopi, we have kopi C, we have kopi peng, kopi glass, kopi kau, kopi kurang manis. See, just imagine each one of these you describe maybe 30 seconds and you add it up. At least you know this commentary, five minutes you can achieve that. Yeah. Of course, this is only one little topic which I am sharing with you where I hope you will enhance your commentary. Yeah. So please remember, common things are actually special. Now, common things, you know, you still have to elaborate, you have to describe, you have to speak on as if that your listeners, your audiences know nothing at all. Yeah. So this is uh, one very important topic which I will share with you and there'll be more topics to come. So of course, feel easy. If you have any inquiries, please write to me at this email, gmail.com. And then, of course, this is my handphone number. You can always WhatsApp me. Yeah. And uh, other than that, of course, I hope that you will like my video, subscribe it, and of course, share with your friends. And uh, after subscribing, of course, once I posted all these new videos, YouTube will notify you. Of course, I hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Bye.